Hey guys, um, I just wanted to talk about something real quick. I actually have decided not to compete in July. I was going to do two shows in July. That was my plan. Um, but things have changed. Just, I was really on fire about prep and I was really excited about it. And it was just mainly the challenge that I wanted. But right now, I am so comfortable in the body that I have. I don't want to lose the muscle that I've worked for because whenever you start losing fat, you're also going to lose some muscle. And to me, I've worked so hard for that. And I just absolutely love performing in the gym. I just love lifting heavy weight. I love really pushing myself and really just going super hard. And during prep, I found that I was, like, I was going really hard, but it I wasn't able to. I didn't have the energy. I didn't have the, like, leg strength that I did whenever I was in my off season. Which, of course, I was down a little bit in weight, but... um just I want to spend expend my leg energy and strength doing squats rather than doing cardio basically and to get on stage I would still have to lose like eight more pounds my body fat's already like 12 percent which is like really lean for a girl and I mean I'm very happy with where I am right now I'm very comfortable in my body I just really didn't feel the need to get any leaner just to step onto a stage I'm not bashing the sport of bodybuilding i absolutely love it and i do plan on stepping on stage again one day in a few years whenever i'm older and whenever i have a lot more muscle on me but just my goals right now are different and i just i don't know i just i just decided not to do it um overall though the sport of bodybuilding these past couple years has taught me so much i became so much closer in my faith but also the amount of self discipline that I obtained through doing competition preps and everything like that and it really actually taught me balance because it was such an extreme and I had to teach myself to bring balance into my life which is something that was very difficult but it's something else that I was able to overcome because prep gave me the challenge. I just don't see myself get like I just don't get excited about seeing myself on a stage right now. Um, I get more excited, honestly, about seeing myself on a platform lifting heavy weight. Like, I know that sounds crazy, um, and I will ease into powerlifting if I decide to do it. I've, but, um, yeah, I want to just get my weights up higher. I want to learn how to Olympic lift. I just want to be overall athletic and well-rounded and healthy. And because everyone knows that whenever you're at your stage weight, you're not healthy, which is the sport. Like, it's extreme, and that's what I loved about it. I loved going to this extreme place. It was funny because um, I talked to my parents a lot, we're super close, and my mom was like, thank God, <laughs> because she just wants me to be a kid. I'm 21 years old, I'm not, I never act like an actual kid. I have always been, I mean, I've been tracking macros or on a meal plan for the past two years of my life since freshman year of college and I mean, I just haven't been able to live. Like, I would just always feel guilty if I would go out. And now I'm ready to actually... Like, I'm not going to go out and party and drink all the time. That's totally not my style. But I will just learn how to chill out a little bit, basically. <laughs> I need to learn how to do that. And my dad was like, honestly, Alexa, like, I was really confused about you. You would be texting me about your deadlift PRs, but then I was the one who had to ask you about your physique and how that was going. And it was just, he, they all kind of knew the performance goals that I've had. And bodybuilding doesn't really align with that. Um, in your off season, of course, it aligns with it because you want to get stronger, you want to get better. But during whenever you're cutting, it's really hard to perform your best in the gym. Also, whenever I talked to my coach, he was super supportive. I'm actually going to put his email down below because if anyone needs a coach, go to him. He has been the best for me. And he understood. He was like, you're a kid. Yeah, I get it. Um, and right now, he's helping me reverse diet. We're going to use... He knows my goals. We talked about it. I want to definitely increase my performance in the gym, but I don't want to gain weight too quickly. A lot of people say it's right back up to maintenance. I mean, I'm still eight weeks out, so my calories really aren't that crazy. But um, he's helping me so that I can try to get stronger and just 
kind of reverse my goals very slowly. So I'm very thankful to have him. And like I said, I'll put his link down below. He's actually a performance coach. He does um, bodybuilding physique people too, like me, obviously. But um, he trains a lot of athletes and he's very knowledgeable at that. So I trust him to help me. But yeah, like I said, I just, I want to be a kid. I want to be able to go out to eat. And like, you can always find healthy things whenever you go out to eat. But whenever you're on prep, like I didn't even get the chicken that was at the restaurant. God forbid it was cooked on a grill with grease on it from other things. Like there's just little things you have to worry about during prep that are just so stressful that I don't want to worry about right now. Like I'm not going to go crazy. I'm not going to binge. Last night, I did get a burger. I didn't eat the whole thing. I got some ice cream, didn't eat all of it. I just listened to my body and stopped when I was full. And it satisfied me. And that's the other thing. After this, I'm going to learn. I had a lot of struggles after my last prep. I would be very... I like my reverse diet. I was very restricted during the week, but then on Saturdays, I would let myself eat whatever I would want, and I would get to the point where I would binge. And sometimes I would get sick and because I would like eat so much. So this right now, this journey, my I'm not feeling deprived. The food wasn't an issue at all, honestly, with any of this. So I think that I'll be able to easily transition and hopefully be able to intuitively eat again. Um, I like doing everything, like I said, slow transition. So I'm still tracking macros and I'm going to for probably another like eight to 10 weeks, very, but like loosely. So like if I have to hit 50 fats and I hit 55 I'm not gonna cry about it I'm not gonna care like it's okay so I'm just gonna kind of loosely track and kind of get back to a normalcy that I was at two and a half years ago basically intuitively eating is how everyone eats unless you're mainly in the fitness world and worried about meal timing and tracking your macros and meal plans and all that fun stuff something that I realized during these last few weeks of my prep is I kept on saying, yeah, we can do that after prep. My one friend was like, let's all go to the bar and get a drink. And I was like, oh, I can drink in eight weeks. And my friend, I've had other friends that we want to hang out with. They're like, do you want to go to dinners? And I was like, I really can't. And that's just not how I want to live right now. Um, there are a lot of ways you can balance prep and everything, but I like going full throttle and I don't like going out to eat because I want to make sure everything is perfectly tracked, perfectly in place, which is okay whenever you're on competition prep, but like I said, I'm 21 years old, I want to live a little bit. And if living is getting a chicken salad where the chicken was grilled on grease, you know, that's baby steps over here, baby steps. <laughs> Basically my plan is get my weights up higher with power lifting learn how to Olympic lift. Maybe I'll try CrossFit again. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a bunch of stuff. Go for a run. I'm going to go for a run tomorrow. I've been on the elliptical just because that could burn the amount of calories I needed to burn, but I'm just going to go for a run because I want to tomorrow. And that's kind of the beauty of just having a healthy lifestyle is you can pick and choose whatever you want to do and you can try different things and see how they change your body and see what you like. And I'm really excited for that. I just want to get some legs because lately I've been feeling like my thighs have looked like hot dogs, just straight and I want to get nicer thighs and obviously a bigger butt because every single girl wants that. But yeah, I just, I want to be stronger. I want to look, I want to look stronger and that's just my goal right now. So I hope you guys got something out of that. I just wanted to discuss why my bikini prep series is going to be ending. I'm going to keep you guys updated, let you know if I hit any PRs, if you even care. I'll throw some strength stuff in there, the Strength Chronicles. Maybe I'll make a new episode <laughs> or series, whatever. I don't know. I'm so weird. But anyway, thanks for watching my video, and I hope you guys have a great night, week, whatever happens whenever I upload this. All right. Bye. This is the